Hey, little folks, I'm going to go over a bow arm. Uh, that's a constant thing I work on on my form about all the time. Uh, that kind of it helps. It's one of the re one of the reasons why people miss left, right, up, and down, in my opinion. Because uh, if you're back at full draw, you're ready to release, and let's say you release and you pull, you just kind of plucked and it was pulling up. Your bow arm's going to naturally ride up with the resistance that's putting behind on your release hand so that's going to cause it to impact high same way if you release out and pull it and you're trying to release all at the same time it's going to move your bow arm so you want your bow arm to be solid so your bow arm and your release is going to be tied together uh, if you make a good release and you just move your arm a little bit or not that quick but just slightly you're going to miss slightly i mean it depends on the distance that you shoot at on how far away of a miss it's going to be um, if you would i mean i work on it just i have to make a conscious effort and once i release and i make a good shot it's going to be, and I still miss, I'll go back to my body arrow alignment. It might not have been, you know, I may not have been all the way back with my back tension. Uh, it could be a number of things, but your bow arm needs to be, you know, basically rock solid. It don't need to move around left, right. We're not trying to play tennis and trying to make it go into to the target. Because uh, you should already be at draw. When you draw and draw that imaginary line, you should be already on your target basically and ready to shoot uh, I know some people put the bow up line it up then draw back but you still you should still be lined up on your target so uh, we're not it's not a tennis game you know when I when I shot compound before I made the switch I had some basic form you know follow through basic form from a compound to traditional is basically the same uh, it's nothing no different uh, somebody's going to have perfect form or try to achieve perfect form on a compound then let their form go on a traditional bow doesn't make any sense uh, to shoot good it takes your solid fundamental basic fundamentals which is your form and if you work on your form if you ain't got really good form you can't really tune your arrows and if you're not grouping barely you know I don't care left right up down if you're not grouping you know consistently if you got your air sprayed out then your forms off uh, you know uh, with that you know you need to work on these basics uh, the basic you know your whole shot process forms is basically the same thing but that bow arms is going to be is an important key you know of why people miss you know I, I think in my own experience I've narrowed it down to like three to four things and actually the more I think about it you know it's more or less about like five things but uh you know your bow arm causes a lot of misses on what you're trying to hit whether it's a 10 ring or you know you're trying to get a good score but if your bow arm's constantly moving you know all around you know you're not really going to score as what you think you're going to score I mean doing trick shots is you know basic I mean, they're good skill shots, but it's not a shot you're going to do consistently uh, all the time. Uh, you know, some of my trick shots they work out. Sometimes they don't. You know, it might take it may take several takes for me to get it, and it and it may just pull up one video, bam, bam, and I'm done. You know, and you have those days. But uh, if you work on your basics, as far as especially your bow arm. If that thing ain't, if you're still trying to move, or if it's still moving and you can't figure out why you're missing, it's probably from that or release hand. So I would definitely go back and work on the bow arm, make it solid. Uh, and and the reason why your bow arm probably moves is either you're overbowed uh, or, you know, it could be that from overbowed to bad release or you just automatically you know you're holding probably a little bit longer than what you normally would and you just finally relax and you just relax your bow arm instead of keeping it up there and there's a lot of 
lot of videos, I guess, talk about your form and all that. But you know, this by breaking it down like this, it's going to help you spot problems. And the one way I spot a problem if it's a bow arm, because when I shoot, I'll just I'll hold as a normal follow through. I don't care whether it goes to the to the right, left. I'll hold it there, then I'll look through my sight window of my bow and see where my arrow is in relation to that and I guarantee it lines dead up. So that's how I can tell, you know, when I when my bow arm moves. So uh, other things contribute to your bow arm moving is your release, plucking. If I start hearing, you know, weird noises than normal, then I start paying attention to my release and getting it right. And it's a it takes a while to get this stuff in your mind to do it correctly. I mean, you can do it the wrong way, uh, what some people would say the wrong way. Uh, I mean, if you're consistently missing, then I would definitely check my form before I start checking my equipment. So I've had instances where my bow arm was moving, I couldn't get my bow tuned in or arrows to tune in, and you know, to, keep giving me false readings and I just go right back to you know back to tuning instead of looking at my form and looking at my bow arm so it, I hope this helps and this you know I believe right here at the last little bit while you release that bow arm moves a little bit is, is causing some misses I know it does on my part so uh, I hope this helps and I hope y'all have a great day and God bless